T-shirt. This is about the silly girl, right? Mm-hmm. My silly girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Ex girl. T-shirt. Oh, well, does it matter that much? No, it doesn't matter that much. It's in G. Let's see if it goes okay in G, okay? So then we w- when we did this, we wouldn't have to, right? Okay. That's a little bit of inside. That's the open window in the <laughs> process right there. That's extra. You yeah. got to pay extra for that. Extra. Extra. <laughs> <laughs> okay, George Jones. Yeah. Just because I, I ask a friend about her. Just because I spoke her name somewhere. Just because I rang her number by mistake today She thinks I still care Just because I haunt the same old places Where memory of her lingers everywhere Just because I ain't the happy guy I used to be She thinks I still care Oh, if she's happy thinking I still need her Oh, let that silly notion Bring her cheer Oh, how could she ever be so foolish Oh, where would she get such an idea Just because I haunt the same old places Where memory of her lingers everywhere Just because I saw her then went all to pieces She thinks I still care She thinks I still care She thinks I still care care. How could you be so foolish? Was that kind of a medley then? Did we do two George in a row? Yeah, but it wasn't a medley because we didn't do them. No, the but time. it was like too much talking in between. Yeah. We should have stayed right in the groove of mm. George. Mm. But who knows? Watch the show. I don't know. You never <laughs> know. It's like really weird. It's like a psychedelic experience. Yeah. Pretty it's like an out of body. Hey, you're supposed to remind me to change my glasses. I know, but those ones look really good. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I better leave them on. <laughs> I'm going to change them at half time. Yeah. That's what I thought. It could be a good idea. Okay. Okay. You got something to say? Uh, no? Yeah, I was thinking about George. Mm. And he, ke- he kept turning down that song. Yeah. Yeah. He says, just because this, just because that, just because of this, nobody wants to listen to that bullshit. <laughs> That's what he kept telling uh, Dickie. Dickie Lee. <laughs> yeah. Dickie Lee. And Dickie Lee was in the recording room, and they had been bugging him for weeks or months, I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Because it was their song. They wrote it. Dickie mm-hmm. Lee and Mike Duffy or something. Mm-hmm. No, not Mike Duffy. <laughs> something. To, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> yeah. The gay name. Uh. That's, yeah, that's very gay. <laughs> <laughs> Most gay guys are named Steve. Yeah. And they like country music, that's too. That's a fact. <laughs> yeah, you better believe it. <laughs> we got all the gay guys watching the old time radio. All the Steves. Oh. oh, yes. All the Steves. Now. <laughs> so they wanted. Stefan. Yeah. Uh, they wanted him to take this song. Yeah, that's right. They did. <laughs> <laughs> and he kept turning them down, telling them it was a bunch of bullshit, yeah. right? Because he didn't like to keep saying just because. Yeah. 
And um, but he, they have he was cantankerous because he turned down the biggest country and western song of all time, too. <laughs> I finally did it, but yeah. they had to drive him crazy to do it. Yeah. He was a troubled guy. He was in a rubber room for 10 days down in Florida. He was like drinking. That's why he could sing those sad songs so good. Yeah. You've got to be crazy to be able to sing those, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. All right. Um, they had this rec- little recorder? Th- yeah, Dickie. Dickie Lee had this recording machine. Yeah. And every time that they were bugging George about recording the song, he was kind of looking at this new, it was probably a brand new one just mm-hmm. out, you know, it was in the 80s. Mm-hmm. And he kept saying, you know, what's one of them worth and yeah. stuff like that, you know. And he kept, he was liking it. Yeah. You know, probably looks simple, like something <laughs> I would like. <laughs> that looks easier than those big fucking things, you know. <laughs> and anyways, so finally he's, he's asking how much it costs. And Dickie Lee says, George, if you record that song, you can have the recorder. <laughs> And he caved. Yeah. And he recorded it. <laughs> Traded. <laughs> you see, this nothing like a toy yeah. to a boy. Yeah. They love a toy. <laughs> they do love their toys. <laughs> of course, it was a huge song. <laughs> and all the whores were after it. Yeah. Elvis and probably Frank and Dean yeah. and oh, everybody. Yeah. You know, uh, Patty Loveless yeah. did it big. Uh, John Fogarty. Mm-hmm. You know, you think John Fogarty would just go ahead and write his own song. Mm-hmm. But no, he knows. <laughs> no, I, I'm not necessarily going to write a song like that real quick. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just too damn good. Yeah. And they just can't stay away from it. Yeah. <laughs> so they go, that's why I'm telling you to be a writer. Yeah. Because you're the goose that laid the golden egg, right? <laughs> 